Hey everybody, we're back to Police Quest 3 The Kindred. We left off, there was a dead man. And it's time to figure out what happened to this guy. And He looked pretty carved up. He's, yeah, well, we're right back before that. But uh, much like the... You can lift it up. <gasps> you look carefully at the knife wounds in the upper chest. Not a pretty sight. But it's the pentagram carved into the flesh that really hits you between the eyes. Not another one, you mutter. That's all Lytton needs. Some freaked out serial killer that thinks he's got a hotline to Satan. So yeah, that's what we're dealing with Could now. Could it be Satan? <laughs> what is that from? The church lady. Oh, isn't that special? Isn't that special? So let's get some... Using the toothpick, you scrape under the victim's fingernails. You then place the collected skin and hair into a sample envelope. Okay, so Ring. <laughs> we've done that. We got some points. You like that noise. I do. We're watching a uh, some Bill Hader Saturday Night Live stuff, and he's sitting there like, bling, 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 and I'm like... I'm sorry. I'm a noise person. It annoyed <laughs> my mother growing up. It's just a thing I do. I imitate noises. Okay, so... Since we know this pentagram is an issue here. We don't take pictures. That's what our... Right, she already took yeah. the pictures. You carefully write down the information in your notebook. So we wrote the pentagram that there's, you know, that's the issue here. Mm -hmm. Now, we got to check the body. You carefully search the body and remove the victim's identification. So Andrew Dent... Wow, it expires in 1999? I graduate. Uh, uh, not me. I was still in high school. <laughs> I was 16. Andrew Dent. You examine the knife wounds in the upper chest. Leon will be able to tell you more about the wounds in the coroner's report. So we have his ID. So let's head out of here. Oh, there's the coroner. Hey, Bonds. And I, oh. He's hanging in there, Leon. You log the victim's information in your notebook before handing the ID to the coroner. Ah, not a pretty picture, eh? Let me guess, his name isn't Lucky. You. I'll take care of him now, Bonds. You go catch some bad guys or something. Uh, okay. That's Leon. He's a great coroner, but the guy has a sick sense of humor. You have to. <laughs> so you can go back in, obviously. If you didn't do everything, it gives you opportunity to do so. That's nice of them, actually, because usually they're, the, like, it's not procedural. You're supposed to do this first. <laughs> it's you. Oh, you better, uh, you betting on who in the Super Bowl? Are you crazy? Did you hear that one about the Orthodox Jewish coroner and the hot dog salesman? Or can I know it's hot dog salesman. So I says to her, Aunt Sophie, could we just not, this once not have something blah, 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 blah? Remember, these go I, back quick. So I says to her, Aunt Sophie, could we just not turn this into a funeral already? I think that's the last one. Oh. So yesterday I'm eating one of my wife's bagels, no locks because of she forgetting to go to the deli, and I'm using a napkin and I blah, 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 blah. So it oh. says to Aunt Sophie, blah, blah, blah. Did you hear the one about the Orthodox? Yeah, I got that blah, 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 blah. I was seeing if we could... Yeah. Oh, you betting on who's in the Super Bowl? Are you crazy? Are you insane? You want to kill yourself? Let me do it. Uh, it'll be quicker. I forgot how fast these go. An alley is a lousy place to die. I don't know if there's a great place to die. Well, in your sleep at your house. This is part of town is full of typical American brick tenements. The garage door is closed and locked. It looks like a DeLorean almost. You notice a fresh dent marked with gold paint on this side of the door. Should we put that in our note? Well, you wouldn't write in your notes. You carefully scrape some of the gold paint transfer from the side of the white car, along with a little white paint, into the paper envelope. Yeah, you, you gotta get that that little bit of scrape right there to help get identify the car. Oh. 
little bit easier in this version than in 2, when the trunk was uh, a little bit more of a problem. I do like this angle, like looking down on the the crime scene Almost from isometric. a... Yeah. Very much what I would think, um, I think that's just the, the regular bags, yep. And don't need the scraper anymore. And the toothpicks. And she has the camera, so not a lot we can do with that. I like how she's just like not even really doing anything. Well, she's a bad cop. Yeah. We've already kind of figured that out. If we're stealing her key to, to make a copy, there's clearly something going on. So, all right. Have we gone into her filing cabinet yet with the key? No, we just did the key before we went here. All right, we got to go back to uh, the police station. So... What road are we on right now? Westbound on Rose. Rose. So we need to go east. And the police station is on. We can stay on Rose, but we're on the. We're going the wrong way. Yeah. So well, we can just go down here. Yeah, we can just keep turning. We can go left. to the left. Yeah. And go down, turn. Go left. Left again, again. and, and then, then, we then turn left on Sixth Street. Yes, left on. Yeah, left on Sixth. So just a couple of lefts. music is amazing yeah we just don't want to okay okay gotta remember how we were doing this save on the driving so right now we're we're good to go we just need to keep going left but let's see here we need to be turning left here on lily okay now we can go a while straight till we get to sixth street what am i doing this game makes you save more often. If we'd played this before we did King's Quest IV back in the day when we were <laughs> streaming, I never would have had the incident with... Um... No, well, see? That's well, why you, you can save. Go right. You can go right again. You'll be on Rose. Yeah. If you turn right on Rose, it'd be okay. I don't want to do that because we were already going straight. Pain in the butt. There. Now we can just keep going straight. What I was trying to do was that. <laughs> Four. Two. Almost there. Fifth. Fifth. Now we need to turn. It should be on the left again. Hopefully. Should be right after this. Or was it there? Litton PD. It was probably right there. But I don't remember. No, I think it's... Yeah, it yeah, was. It was. Oh. Well, we'll restore. That's why we saved. We're going to have to turn left again. <laughs> yep, someone has learned his lesson on saving for this game anyway. We'll we'll see At how it's for the driving. Right, I uh so anytime else me. Yeah. Yay. Not too long. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll catch up if you gotta run to my car. Uh-huh. I got drugs. Notice, um, she's not gonna be with us. And we have that key. Yep. So, time to get in her desk and two things. 
Let's do a private investigation. Really for the, the right of what's going on. I mean, I know it's technically not what you would, you know, think is right, but I like how at least we know the time of day. I can't remember which one is the homicide. Is our wife still in the... Well, yeah, she's yeah, she's definitely still in the hospital. We haven't done anything to yeah. fix that problem yet. Yeah, she's still in a coma. So before we even sit... Oh, that's right, it's, it's on, on the key, key ring. ring. Yeah. I was like, I was like, uh, let's not even mess with anything else first. Let's just... You find a piece of paper with a series of numbers on it. Three, eight, six... You, caref you carefully, you close and relock the drawer. So we just got that 386. We are not... Yeah, obviously, you don't know what that means yet. If we take it... She knows. Right, yes. Or she knows something's up. I like how when we... Remember when we didn't put the key back, we died of embarrassment? Do you yeah. remember that? It's It's been a week since we've played this, so... Okay, we need to get in our box there. Sonny, Dr. Wagner called and would like you to stop by the hospital. Let's see if there's anything else on our desk before we create the... Okay. The file? Yes. I enjoy this game. You just didn't like the driving, but it's not as bad as you remembered. Right. I really hated the driving, but I'm having the map out makes it a whole lot in saving instead of yeah okay so uh, go ahead and create a new case based on the information you obtained at the murder scene you open up a new file on the dent murder which he does based on what you find so if you don't do everything not all the information not all there. the information is there all right so we have andrew dent who was born 1935 he looked young yeah i know but it's but remember this is 91 so yeah i guess that would have been so like 45 50. 55 65 75 yeah he'd be just in his 50s although he looked like he was in his 30s in the picture yeah uh so it happened on april 1st 91 april fool's day yeah <laughs> Multiple stab wounds with pentagram incision on torso. Puncture wounds measuring six by one and a half inch. So this is the uh, same, same person. Dagger. Ritual cult murder. Associated with attempted murder of Marie Bonds. Motive cult murder. So that's what we've got. <sighs> it's just like, okay. Stuff starting to come together. So that's what we had to do there. Now we got to go book everything. Which I, you could have booked at first. It doesn't matter. But since we're going to be leaving on the way out, it's just easier to do this, go to the ground floor, and get back in the car. I'm glad this game, this version of the game, gives you like leeway on some of that. Whereas, like in some of the earlier versions, of, like Police Quest One, or you know, like not versions, like games, like order of things, like significantly mattered. Right. Yeah. If I would have taken it upstairs, I could have been fired or something. You might be tampering with evidence. Right. All right. So let's give them that. What's the case number, Sonny? Oh. Oh no. Rut row. We didn't take I, a picture. I didn't look at the case number. It said we make a new case number and it gave the number, but I didn't think to take a picture of it. Um, well, we can go back. Well, I guess it does matter what order you do yeah. things in. Name. Okay, so anyway. Anyways, <laughs> restore. I guess this game doesn't care. I was wrong. I thought you couldn't do it. Well, shut my mouth. Sweet potato pie. We're, it's not like we're that far away. And we... Okay. Get in there. That's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Michael Scott. <laughs> Boo doo doo doo. 
I forgot the case number. <laughs> I'll get my camera ready. Please do. Sonny's just looking at her like, I know what you did. You're or at least I think I know what you you're did. You're pushing drugs. Sonny don't like that. That was our first game. Taking down drug hood. Yeah, dressing like a pimp. Playing cards, which we skipped. Oh. <laughs> You had to have get ten thousand dollars to get no the perfect. There was no way we were going to do that. Uh, I guess I could have, but I wasn't willing to take the time. Other than that, we had perfect game. Eh? Yep. Don't forget to do the key thing. I won't. I haven't forgotten that quick. I'm forgetful, but not that much. See, like, all that, you know, took like eight minutes, but we're almost... That's because we were reading things and thinking and talking out loud. Zoop! Homicide. New file. There it is. 199-145. Okay. I just had to get the focus on the camera. Okay, so we got our point. Let's go. Let's go take this downstairs. Oh my. Just press the button. <laughs> Sonny misses. He becomes like Mr. Fantastic. His arm like stretches around the corner. It's like, Sonny probably should go check his uh, shooting scores again. If, <laughs> since he, you have lost the game because you clicked on the wrong part of the elevator. Roberta says, be more careful. It's 199-145. Have it up here. Yeah, one nine nine one four five. Wow. Name? Oh, it's you. Name? Andrew Dent. Description of evidence? Skin and hair samples. Location found. Under victim's fingernails in a dumpster. And dis disposition? Analyze for DNA profile. She goes, takes that away. And give her the other one. What's the case number? Name. Same. Description of evidence. Gold paint transfer. Location found. Left rear quarter panel of abandoned 1974, 1973 Ford Pinto. And disposition. Analyze for possible vehicle type. Yep, so we did that. Now we gotta drive we'll get again. we reports on those later. Now we gotta drive again. It doesn't just take us to the hospital, I don't think. I think we actually have to drive this Unfortunately, time. in the past, it did. Yeah. I don't <laughs> like, in a good way. I don't think it does. We'll find it. Oh. Yeah, we definitely have to drive if she's going. Or yeah, she's going with us. Maybe not. We do. Okay. All right. We haven't so driven to the... southbound. Where's the hospital? That's the thing. The hospital. Hold on. The map is like deciding to uh, bring up a virus or something. Um, I think it's on 4th. Okay. So, so we just need to make a, a right. A right. And then a right. And then a right and a left. Board. But let's go save. ahead and save. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rolling. So we need to make a right. Oh no! Well, that was close. Well, you can make a right on any street. Yeah, let's just do it. We can. I mean, whoop! There we go. And then, whoop. There we go. And then we need 
need to make a right onto fourth. Yep. So we're going to hit fifth here. This is I don't like this song as much. It gets repetitive after a while. I like the I like the that one that we have. This is the one more for like police work. This reminds me of almost like emergency from like the TV show. Yeah, the uh, Frank Mantooth. Kids probably like Frank Mott. What? Frank Welker? No, not Frank Welker. Okay, lit in general. Let's go. I think you were supposed to click whenever it showed up. I guess. There was nowhere to go. Like, there was nowhere to turn. I think when you click, it makes, like, a place to turn. I didn't do that last time. Oops, see? There's not. I guess I, said I guess I have to stop. Oh, maybe you're going. Sometimes you have. Oh to, yeah, like. Yeah. Sometimes you have to stop in front of it and get out. I forgot about that. It's not always that way, but. Let's see if I went too far. No. Nope. You because it's like there's no parking. You're just parking on the street. <laughs> Yo, Sonny, I think I'll make a phone call while you're upstairs. I bet you will. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do we have to buy a flower or anything like that? No. We already did that. Dr. Wagner's face is grave as he says... I'm afraid I don't have any good news, Sonny. Marie's condition is unchanged. There's nothing more we can do but wait and hope. Again, I'm sorry, officer. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other patients to attend to. Now, here's the big thing. The chart shows that Marie's IV dosage is supposed to be set at 0 .005. Your beloved wife lies motionless in a coma. You wish there was some way to know what she's thinking. If she's thinking. Oh, I was going to open it, but I guess it won't let me. So, uh... Yeah. That's a problem. The, you press the call button and hope that the nurse is on the way. That's why it's always good to have someone in the hospital that can be an advocate for you, because <laughs> accidents happen. You get better care if you have someone there with you. Where is the nurse? There we go. Do you need something, Sergeant Bonds? Uh, yeah. In an anxious voice, you tell the nurse you're concerned about the IV dosage. I'll get the doctor to check on that right away, officer. Torn between feeling foolish and genuinely alarmed, you explain to the doctor that there seems to be a discrepancy between the IV dosage on the chart and that on the IV meter. <laughs> the doctor looks doubtful as he checks the chart. Then the IV. With a red face, the doctor says, oh, What? You're correct, Sergeant Bonds. This dosage is obviously incorrect. I don't understand this at all. I can't believe our staff could make such a serious error. I've adjusted the IV. Perhaps Marie will feel better now. Yeah, that... We were overdosing. If you don't do that, bad things can happen. And it's one of those things I don't want to have to, you know... You talk gently to your wife, hoping that some part of her hears you. Oh, look, the IV's right. Aww. You softly kiss your wife. Her eyelids flicker in response. So, we have done all we can do here. Let's 
just leave. Let's not even pay attention to our... Oh, uh, sh don't leave me! <laughs> you drop your partner off at the station, then drive yourself home for some needed rest. Yay, we didn't have to drive. Yeah, 2200. It's getting late. It's 10 p.m. Past our bedtime. Day five. The bed seems empty without your wife. Mm-hmm. You go through the motions of getting ready for work. You're ready for work. <laughs> that was a good sleep. Yes, he slept a long time. He needed it. Oh, we didn't have to drive him to work. No. You... It's amazing. So, we'll pick up day five in the next episode. Sounds good to me. Stay tuned for the next part. Police Quest 3, The Kindred. We know there's a cult murder going on now, so we got to start figuring out who's doing this mess. And now, hopefully, our wife will get better. Oh, yeah, and not die. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Sonny Bonds and the penis! <laughs> our good old Sonny boy. Ugh, okay. The Bye pipes now. The pipes are calling. <laughs>